With goals, we create the future in advance. We create our destiny. We shape our lives. Hey, we all have goals whether we know it or not. The problem is some people have really lousy goals and whatever your goals are, they're affecting you. Maybe your goals are to get through this day. Maybe your goals are how to pay the lousy bills. The problem with goals like that is they don't exactly inspire you and get you to jump out of bed early in the morning. Goals can create the power to make us grow and expand and develop our success, but we've got to have something out there that is compelling enough to draw us forth. The magic that you've heard about and dreamed about is real, and it starts with the simplest process of taking these generalized impulses of desire and starting to define them with more precision. This is the power of goal setting, and we understand totally how it works. There's something beyond just what we understand of writing something down. Something happens. You become a creator when you write down your goals, and you get clear as to absolutely why you make them happen. We've got to make sure that you not only have goals, but you get absolutely clear why you want them. Purpose is stronger than outcome. Well, I think the purpose of goals is not so you get things. The purpose of any goal, the real reason you set goals is what they'll make of you as a person. Look, at the end of your life, all the things that you accumulate are not going to make you happy. At the end of your life, all you're going to have is who you become as a person. The moments you've created in your life that you'll never forget. So some people in life, they go and set goals and they do it blindly. They say, these are the things I want to have in my life. And they focus, let's say, on things. And there's nothing wrong in focusing on things. I, I want you to have as many things as you want. That's part of life too. That's part of the manifestation process of creating results. But if all you do is focus on getting things, they may cost you. Some people in desire to get things have given up their own integrity of who they want to be, of what they want to create in their life. You've got to be careful of that. You've got to make sure that when you set a goal, you know why you're doing it. Becoming the kind of person who is able to manifest total abundance financially and physically for themselves and the people around them. That's rather exciting, having the freedom that you think that money will give you or having the ability to give or having the ability to do things that you think that money will give you or having more time. That will motivate you a lot more than just the money. Does that make sense? The problem with setting goals is, one, most people take them for granted. They don't do it seriously and they don't do it consistently. They do it once a year and they do it at New Year's. They want to have a New Year's syndrome. They set a goal and they don't even look at it until a year later and they go, oops, I kind of screwed up. And then they set a new one. So they have no power. Secondly, they don't realize the power of goals. They take it lightly. You know, you go, well, you know, yeah, I got these goals. But they don't make sure they get it inside their head that it's absolutely real for them. And they don't realize that when they set a goal, they're now creating something in life. And finally, the biggest challenge, I think, is that these people don't know why they're going for their goals. So the object is the goal itself. They get enthusiastic for a while and then it dies out. Again, while it's different for everyone, but you've got to find out the reasons. I believe this. Reasons come first. Answers come second. You get a big enough reason for doing something, to accomplish something, you can figure out how to do it. But if all you do is set up a goal and say, oh gosh, how am I going to go about and do it? You're not going to be inspired enough. It's not going to be compelling enough for you to really create long-term results. Every great success I know has figured out the why behind their goals, and that's their power. Now, I don't want you to feel bad or negative about it, but just be honest with yourself. What are some of the areas in your life that are not enough? It's not good enough. It's not where you deserve it to be. It's not where you committed having to be. Take a look at yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, financially, in your relationships. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, what's not good in my life? What am I not satisfied with? And get inspired as you write it down because whatever you write down, you're going to be able to change. Anything that I desire, that thought process has been given to me. And with the ability to have a goal, I believe instantly comes the ability to achieve it. That ability is built within us or we wouldn't have the desire in the first place. So come from that place and watch what you can do to create a new reality of success in your life. But where we focus on consistently, that I thought of things, that as you think, so you create, so you manifest. So part of your goal setting is just by having that focus and again, having a consistent focus. You can't just set goals at one time and never look at them again and really expect long-term results. Hey, that's better than not having any target at all. 
At least your subconscious mind know the general direction to move in, but the power is doing it consistently, reviewing it. Point number one is I really believe that if you focus on something, you'll experience it. Secondly, when you set a goal, there's an interesting dynamic that happens, and that is when you set a goal, basically you're acknowledging to both your conscious and subconscious mind that where you are right now is not where you want to be, which is you begin to notice the distinctions between where you want to be and where you are, and as you feel that distinction, your brain becomes dissatisfied, and part of what motivates human action is the sense of dissatisfaction. I mean, when you're totally comfortable and relaxed, feeling pleasure, you're not super motivated to do whatever it takes to make things happen as a generalization. However, when we get dissatisfied, that's when we've got some real power. I tell most people in life, one of the biggest traps that most people fall into is called success. For a lot of people, success is a trap because what happens is when they get successful, oftentimes they tend to party. When they fail, they tend to ponder, and in all that pondering, sometimes they make some new distinctions. Dissatisfaction is a power that you want to take advantage of, not something for you to try and hide yourself from. There's real power in finding something you want to move away from, but look, pressure is what creates human behavior. Pressure and tension are primary drivers of our actions. I mean, think about it. On a ridiculously simple level, what makes you want to eat? Is it not a certain level of pressure or tension? Pressure or tension in your body that makes you want to get up and take that action. There's a certain level of pressure that creates that feeling. Learning to manage pressure and tension in your life is probably one of the basic fundamental lessons we must all master if we really want to have a balanced life or we really feel happy and successful. But learning to use pressure in goal setting is absolutely critical. With literally no pressure to go for it, we have no motivation, and so a certain amount of pressure is generated when you clearly define what it is you want and you see that you aren't there. It creates a distort when your brain says, hey, I want that, I'm not satisfied with where I am, and you begin to have that drive. Don't hide from it, welcome it. Look at it every single day. Pressure isn't necessarily negative, it can be very positive. Again, if you look at it as a tool for influencing yourself, to take consistent action towards your success. You all know the metaphor, don't you? I mean, pressure is how diamonds are created. They're just rocks that got under intense pressure and now they turn into a gem. You need to use that same metaphor for yourself and use goals as a way of pressuring yourself. Use pressure to your advantage. Use committing a certain people to your advantage, people that will not let you off the hook. That's part of the why. Sometimes you don't feel like doing any more, but the only why is, hey, because I don't wanna not keep my word. That's okay, whatever it takes to get you to follow through and create results. What we wanna do to get ourselves to succeed is when pressure to getting the goal and pain to not getting the goal. That way our brain will be driven to use all of those resources to make it happen. Does that make sense to you? I know some of you may sound negative to say, well, what will it cost me if it didn't happen? And I think you understand how the human brain works. We wanna use the carrot and the stick. Hey, we're in charge. We can do this with anything with ourselves, and if we don't like our goals, we can change it at any time. Part of the power of goal setting is flexibility, not just getting stuck because a year ago you set a goal. Reevaluating based on where I am in life. Is that still the right goal for me? Is that the right direction? It's that kind of consistent review that will keep you on track and produce those results that you've committed to. Sometimes people set goals that aren't realistic, meaning they really have no clue how it can be pulled off. But I also know there's a tremendous power if you get committed enough. Make your goals so real to get. Once you know what your goals are, then make them so real in your mind so it feels like you already have them. When you get to that level, when your brain actually believes it already happened, something clicks and oftentimes in a short period of time, that goal becomes realized. I mean, in physical situation, things start to happen. Everything around you in your life right now started out at one time as a thought. I mean, think about it. What are some things you have in your life right now? Some relationships, some people, some skills, some beliefs, maybe a job was once, but nothing but a goal. You're in that same moment now of creation. Realize that right now, you are about to create a real future that can make a major difference for you. That right now, you're just not writing down words on a page, but even if you don't know how this is going to happen yet, but if you've got something that you really want and you make it strong enough and you find strong enough reasons, you will find a way.